this next bout is in the lightweight division, and it is five three-minute rounds of WLC action. Presented by Asia Golden Mines, the official transport partner of the WLC. First, fighting out of the blue corner with an undefeated record of 10 wins, no losses, 10 draws from the Cayenne State Myanmar, Lin Ten Ong! Let go, And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, has a record of 18 wins, two losses, and five draws from Mon State Myanmar. This is Pai Tan Ah! Five three minute rounds of WLC lightweight action. And when it gets up and ill, ladies and gentlemen, your man in charge of the action, Yaza! 60 kilograms or less. You mentioned Hang Tune looked chill. But yeah, when you fought a couple of last men standing in the tournament, yes. <laughs> you've been in the pressure. It's quite something to have on your CV, isn't it? And I had the pleasure to call his last fight kind spirit at the previous WLC show, and he just produced a devastating knockout. He looks like a man who knows his ability. Wow, they really do. For such young men, they really do see the impacts. That is a good sign. This one fighting can be performed in a state of play rather than hack. Pain in the red, Lin in the blue. I like the, how Lin is feeling out with the hand, reaching with that left hand, just to engage and then punches around the guard. Lin really loves to fire off elbows oh. as, as we oh. see. Throw the head kick. Then, oh, man, we got a good one here. You can just see it. Yes, Lin looks very chill. Lands the left hook to the body. Goes with the elbow, Ooh. body kick as well. Now the headbutt. Yes, behind the ear with the headbutt. Calm and casual. Imagine the sting on that, then the knee to the body. Two young talents facing each other at this stage of their evolution. You see again, reaching for that guard, playing with that guard is high tune right there. Trying to engage that hand. The shot selection superb at the start of this round from Hayden. Sophisticated traditional, oh, as he takes that leg and kicks beneath it. It might be the more technical, technical or tactical, but of course, guts. These guys at times just seem immune to those leg kicks, but just give us an idea of just how much they hurt. Oh, God. It's, and you talk to any fighter, they'd much rather be punched in the jaw than kicked in the leg. The tissues start to clot up. It's like a baseball bat to the curve of the quadricep, the four heads of that quadricep. When you get hit on there, it can just start to vibrate, it can numb, it can shoot lightning up your leg, it's brutal. Just look at the left eye of Lin now, the redness around it. You can't quite see it, it's on the wrong side, but those right hooks from Hain have done their work. There the elbow. elbow. The head, also from Lin. Oh, these guys are trading here in this range. Watch the swelling on both the faces. Look around the eye of Lin. Takes some punches to the body. Oh, and they're just going to stand oh, in here. Oh, fire. what a knockout. Well, knocked down. So, left hook by Lin. We'll see that in the replay after, no matter how this round goes. And now again, firing hooks from the ground. That's the man might have been knocked out. That was a gorgeous shot, wasn't it, from Lin Ted? Unreal. The left hook. And he, and he put it behind oh. a right hook. So, really, it was an unpredictable. He didn't know what was coming next. The way his body moves, you can't actually trace and anticipate necessarily what punch is coming, so you have to flow with it. Because if you guess wrong, you're in a lot of trouble. So you have to let it happen, connect to the meaning and the motion and the moments. Stop. Another stunner of the first. Oh. Yeah. Oh, in the blue. We're gonna get a replay, and I know we're gonna get a look at that knockdown. So he takes a couple and then. 
Oh, there's an elbow over the top. Just gets out of the way of that head kick. They're engaging again, though, with that guard, trying to, and there, the head behind the ear. Elbow in the clinch, kicks. Doing a great job of covering up. We'll see that knockdown and coming up after, I'm sure. Elbow, head kick. Wow, so much, this is one round. Oh, how do you like that? Oh, there, the left hook just lets it flow out of him. Right there. And the way his hips and core were moving, man, people like that moment. The way his hips and core were moving was so fluid, you couldn't anticipate that it was a left hook coming. You just had to let it happen and let your body react to it. And Tyne Toon wasn't able to get out of the way of that left hook that touched him on the edge of the jaw. It was picture but stuff, that left hook. Really. Stunning. But, I mean, for me, I actually think Kane felt he had the edge in that round until that moment. I believe that. I agree with you. It felt like it. But, as Major told us, they're going to see what the biggest shots are going to have the most effect. And these are experienced. We've said it many times, and I've said many more. We have wonderful martial artists here that are our judges and referees, and that really makes a difference. They know, they understand. So much of the knowledge of what is happening is only available through the experience. What we see is 2%, 3%, 5% of what could be known. The rest is known only in the experience, and so when you have experienced refs and judges, it really elevates everything. Painton on, his demeanor still looks fairly relaxed, but I mean, he's Brown. in the middle of a flying pan, in the middle of a fire. We can see it in the first few seconds here. This is just a beautiful little contest between these two. Fine tune, the red firing there. Body kick from the limb. You see as, as people will land a shot and they step off, the back becomes available. It's available in so many moments in combat. That's why it's a legal target. It should be. It adds to the reality of what you're seeing. It ex this fight, these fights exist in as real a scenario as human beings can possibly do contact, combat. Yeah, you just have a litany of options. Like we talk about shot selection. You spoke about freedom. And it really is. You can paint whatever picture you want because you have all nine limbs available. Yes, it, it is a pure art. It, it, look, now they're playing with rhythm. It's not just trying to engage that guard, but he's trying to throw off his rhythm as he comes up with the head kick from under the peripheral. The body shot is available there, too. Oh! He's, oh! Just such tight defense, too, from Lin. Both these fighters landing some mammoth shots in that exchange. The last 20 seconds. Elbow over the top from Lin as Pine Toon is moving forward with his right hand. Switching stances, moving his feet. It's just a wonderful fight between these two. Lin's done some great work for the body and Hain is just, you know, he wants to show that he can just play that game as well. And, and he's doing, he's pressuring now. Lin uh, came into this fight the more fluid fighter. That's the way he's been showing himself and now Hind is pushing him and trying to, trying to break that fluidity. Now it's all Lin. Knee to the body, head kick, elbow, elbow again. I'm now pouring it on in here. Remember, no time limit contest, so this man knows how to get more out of himself. He eats one there as he comes in. Watch for the head, there's one, a slashing attack with the head. Right there again, bone on bone. Stunning work from Hayne. He's got him in the corner. Oh, just an excellent arcing elbow. Look at these two. Hayne just uncorks, doesn't he? He does. You know, it was Lin who was doing very, very well in the first half as he uses the back elbow angling out and then trying to get his man off of Hayne is using, he's weaponizing his own endurance to try to fatigue Lin here. And Lin, you see his hands dropping, you see him breathing a little heavier. This is what you do against, against the smooth talent. Oh, oh, oh. back elbow yes. from Lin, I love it. It's so easy on the eye seeing these two go at it. Down there, the back of the head was available. You see, we talked about painting pictures, the brush, the angle, the arcing brush stroke of that elbow is just, Thing of beauty. That was a huge round. Big round. Big round. I, it's, it's, let's take a 
look here. Lin is being pushed back here behind Pink right there. And he just keeps putting it on him. Very, very smart. Comes in behind the head again. And he did some very good head work on the inside here. Covers up. Wow. These two are just bringing out the best of each other. Just the two of them are making such sweet art. And that little angled shot with the head, trying to use the hard part of the head against the soft part of the temple. And they are striking for the back. But the angles of the elbows of Lin, that right there again, spinning through with that elbow. And he went for a second one immediately after. Look at that beautiful shot. And he missed it with that one. But you see, the, the target of the back of the head is available as it should be in true combat. And some people find the intensity and, and you know the danger because these, these people are putting each other in physical harm. That's what fighting is. They find it frightening or intimidating, but there's a beauty in it. The inherent beauty that's available to these people expressing themselves in the danger is part of what makes it so special, what makes them as human beings special. Pivotal third round coming up. Both these fighters are really Second out. Out. Seconds out of the ring, please. Seconds out. It's gonna be a fun one for the judges. I really like that dynamic of, of a man I'm right I'm here I'm in Hain who, uh, who fought no time limit. Now with these two minute breaks, he gets to go in and start to relax, he's chill. He's gonna go get a loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. He's just going to the store. Only it's fighting with nine weapons. Well, that moment in the corner could have been significant in that second round for Hain, but we've seen some Mammoth weapons displayed tonight as well by Lin. Any moment, bang, yeah. this one's over. Yes. Well, Lin was the one who put mine down earlier. But Lin, now, you see that toughness in the way he's expressing himself? See, his jaw is a little bit tighter. He's changed his body structure. It, this is asking a different thing from him than he's accustomed to, to being able to just go and kind of express himself as the superior martial artist often. Those are some of the experiences he's had in the past, winning the golden belt. You know, he's been able to be the superior martial artist. And this one, is, he's being asked to be as much of a man, as much of a human as he can. Comparatively quiet start to the round here as both fighters looking to re-establish their dominance. You also realize, well, there are shots and in the head, and he's looking to fire behind the head again. One more time here. Punches, head, elbow, knee. Quite about that for a man was there. The knee and the headbutt. And they do find a home, but it's both vicious and beautiful. It's viciously beautiful. It's beautifully vicious. When I was speaking about Le Wei with a number of different people, I said it's equal parts elegance and violence. There you see as he spins, a perfect example. And you know, there's something in the dichotomy of this art form as well. You know, the Burmese people are the kindest, gentlest, nicest human beings you've ever seen, and yet their expression of martial artistry is some of the most intense. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We're, we're gifted to be able to sit here and share with you. Both these guys, you imagine, would be decent poker players. It's really hard oh. to tell the damage inflicted by either of them yeah. because they, they just seem unperturbed. You're looking for physio that deep breath there for Lin, like where you have to find it in physiological expression. You have to find it in sort of involuntary ways that they're they're showing it. And Lin has, has had to take deep breaths a few times. He doesn't want us to see it. He doesn't want him to see it, but we can see it. And now he's going to see right there. He throws that kick from distance, punches, and he wants to move away. See? You see the way he just grimaced as he's trying to suck air into his body? Just watch for him. Check. That hurt. The shin tucked up into the floating rib. As a reply, that will do nicely. Right there. That you saw that one coming. Now he's going back to being kind of more of the artist. He, he was had, had to be an athlete, a rugged human for a little bit, and now he's going back to being more of an artist, expressing. Nothing, there's nothing else in the moment. Oh, that up angle elbow was just exquisite. For these men, there's nothing else in the world right now other than what is in front of them. You know, and that, again, is part of what makes it so special. Uh, 
it's scary, it's painful, it, it's hard on the body, it's incredibly demanding. That's part of what makes it beautiful. Uh, you see replays right now, that knee up the middle, in that space, the elbow range, and then right in deep with the head. Punches to the body as he backs his man up. Oh, you feel that shit. Covers, answers. And at the end of round two, as we started round three, the youth, man, that shit dug in deep to that photo here, right there. Said at, at the beginning of round three that they were taking it a little bit slower. That blocked up elbow, oh. And, and they were, they were, they were conserving a little bit. They were seeing what they learned and seeing, trying to provoke action from the other. Uh, but now we passed the halfway point. You're into the home stretch for them. They're gonna just let it hang out. Yeah, the five round, uh, that was a significant one, but again, difficult to call for the judges. The output of both competitors, just hugely impressive. Yeah, just really something special. And it is warm here. Yeah. You know, this is a this is a hot part of the world. It's warm in here. All these bodies in here heating it up. And these guys are trying to suck cold air in and reset to be able to have even better, to get even more out of themselves in rounds four and five. And it's not easy. But man, these two minutes really, really help, and it makes Seconds each out. round start Seconds with more intensity. Seconds out. Seconds out. The little stretch. Nothing to see here, folks. It's the little stretch. Waffle. As he touches his knee to his forehead. Waffle. Just another great matchup. These two beautifully set up for oh. spectacular. Oh, two hand kicks. The second one definitely landed. And catching the teeth kick. Blocking the head kick. Oh, the big oh. headbutt. Yeah, from the angle, we couldn't see if that was a headbutt or an up elbow. From our angle, we'll find out later. That is the, it's just one of the incredible things. There's so much variety here. How well is Hayne doing to read those head kicks, though? Knee to the body. Seeing Lynn go to the floor momentarily. Ryan is using pressure now better than he even used it in the last round as he's firing elbow, knee, head, elbow, elbow, knee, head. Finish here. Really good. He's got openings. This is what we saw in the last round in the corner. Yep. Big knees, yep. big shots oh. to the body. If he goes to the body again, it will be over. Love it. They're looking for a big reply. Yeah, sometimes, oh, oh, oh. Headbutt to the temple, and he knows now, he feels, Hein feels that he can be folding his man. The pretty, skilled fighter. He's taking something pretty and he's making it ugly. The referee just checking Lin out now because he's taking real damage. Blood pouring down his face. And Hein just being casual, he won't be hoping it's over, he'll just accept however it goes and proceed forward. This is life, this is a microcosm of life. You accept what's there and you make adaptations as it is presented to you in front of you. And turn on in the ascendancy, the undefeated Lin Te Hong currently has that undefeated record hanging in the balance. Nobody stays undefeated forever. I said the word nobody. I know that's not 100% true, but it is very, very, very close. Uh -huh. Cut, man. Looked like he's done a wonderful job there. The audience applauds, one, because this wonderful oh. fight will continue, but two, they're applauding the heart of Lynn, the courage. This is part of what is on display here. He's have a great body shot. And he does, he answers. It's more than punches and kicks. It's who you are an expression of his individuality, and who he is, and who his family is. Interesting to see the measured approach from Hayne. He knows there's blood in the water. He can yep. literally see it, and now he's uncorking. Yes, he is, but he walks into a front kick to make a little bit of space and buy a little time for Lin. But, but he is going to pour it on. It's just the flurry. Doing it calculated. Yeah, you watch these headbutts right oh. there, straight oh. to the bridge of the nose. Now there'll be a knee or uppercuts, and he will try to pull his man up and finish him. But he answers with an up elbow, now a head. Stop. And there you see the strategic approach. You're not penalized, it's not a knockdown. It doesn't make any difference into the scoring, so you're manipulating that use, that fact, that truth. 
Oh, oh look at that. Open, I like it. This is something very special. I hope everybody that's watching is, oh, as he storms in, uh, takes both of the defensive postures, both of the defensive weapons out of the way and storms in behind the head. Pain like a raging bull with that headbutt. That is the ultimate finishing move. The Lin is still fighting, and that's why Hain is being measured still. It's not just pouring it on, not just emptying the tank, because it's fatiguing for him, too. Yeah, Lin's not going anywhere at the moment. Oh, Lin is very skilled, man. He's very skilled, and a lot has been asked of him, and he has answered. Just incredible. Yeah, just it really incredible. is. It really is. There's certain things that you just don't know about yourself. You know, what you're capable of, you don't know until you're there. And But as you pointed out with some of these fighters from this region, you know, these are special human beings. They're, they're normal human beings who perform in special ways like we see right here in these replays. You know, not just the strikes that are beautiful, they are, but, but it's the heart and the courage. The shot to the body, that makes you bend over. Then the head to the temple, to the ear area. And it is all of these attacks, it is the danger of all of these weapons from all of these angles that make this such a pure sport such an exciting art. Derry walks him into that elbow. He is finding moments. Like, Lin has not packed up the suitcase and got on the plane. He's 100% committed to the fight, as you see right here. And it was an up elbow from in there. I mean, that's one of the moments yeah. of the fight for me. Yeah, it's a wonderful moment. And there, you saw uh, Hein grabbing both wrists, engaging both the hands as the man backs up, and then storming in, accelerating, sprinting in behind the head. Or well, the head being accelerated. So glad this is a five rounder at this yeah, point. Me too. And if for one moment when I said me too, anybody thought, well, I bet Lin isn't glad, I assure you that he is. He desperately wants to be in this fight. These pe these young men want to win. They want to they want to make everybody around them proud. They want to make their team and their family proud. And they and they will be proud and should be proud just of this level of performance, Seconds this out. level of commitment Seconds to the fight. The ring, but they want to win Seconds this fight. Out. So Lin, yes, he's taking big shots, but he's so glad he has three more minutes to try to win. I would be in no way shocked to see a Lin win. He's got everything in his arsenal to hurt Hayne. Hayne has been the more impressive overall, of course, and is inevitably up on the judges' scorecard. Has been close to a finish, but Lin has just threatened throughout. Yeah, he's dangerous. He's incredibly dangerous at all times. You know, there are so many cliches, metaphors that we use in this game. You know, uh, a cage, uh, a wounded animal, and, and things attached to that, but my favorite of all of them is the moments of truth, or the moment of truth. This is truth right here, this is truth. Who are you? What, are you, what have you learned? What have you trained? How long, how much have you worked? How much are you willing to sacrifice? This is all truth. Goes for the jumping knee. Come on, come on. And again, oh. you gotta respect it. You course, gotta respect that it. That is the truth of who this man is. He's been smashed up, headbutted, knee, pushed back, and he's still leaping through the air, leaving the oh. safety of the earth to try to throw a knee against a man coming forward against him oh. with two minutes remaining in the fight of his life. What can Hain produce here? Can he produce the finish again? He telegraphs the head kick well. It's going to be oh. hard. Yeah. That was a nice one, that was a clean one. And you've got, you've got Lin starting to slow down again. And those body shots will help it. That left hook to the jaw will help. Stop. Great level change, the two shots to the body, then the left hook to the head. Yep, from at different heights, at different distances, and from different angles and tangents. There's so much happening. And, you, and the brains have to attempt to process it. You don't know what's coming forward, and that includes his head directly through the middle. Headbutt straight to the heart, really. It's low. It's incredible. Look it's at this. These positions oh. where he's so oh. deadly. That was a headbutt to the back yes. of the head. Yes. Oh. It's available. This is the freest point. It's free fighting. And, and that's what I often call, I, I get the, the gift to call mixed martial arts a lot as well. I often call that free fighting. It is not as free as this. This is free fighting. More headbutts, those headbutts. It's more of attrition, oh. really, isn't it? It really is elbow to the back of the head. And he's turned his back momentarily oh. there, and he just, you know, will accept that moment to be able to drop and, and get some air. 
Oh. It looks like he's really struggling uh, now, Lynn. For sure. Everything hurts. The heat in his lungs, the burning in his legs, the impact he's taken. Right now, from that angle, if he turns too long, the ref could, would, and should stop this fight. Because now you're putting yourself in more danger. You're already in a low A fight. We, how much more danger would we like? Bear in mind, though, it does take an awful lot to count as an actual knockdown in that Yes, way. it does. I mean, three knockdowns in one round, fight's over, but... But if you just oh. sort of right there, you, you sort of choose to drop to as a form yeah. of disengagement, oh. you can get away with that. I mean, Lin's going to have to dig so deep now, but he is oh. capable of pulling something oh. out. Lin looked downwards for the angle and then upwards from another angle with the elbow. Come you on. see the marks on oh. his face? Yeah, he's not even in the fight. Oh. That was an amazing fight. Two really, really young men, special. I mean, you have to say, the fact that Lin refused, yeah. refused to be finished, that, that, that's led to the status tonight. It is. You don't get to pick always what you're going to show. Sometimes it's chosen for you, and what he got to show tonight was his guts and his heart and his courage and his resilience. And of course we're talking about him a lot because that's inspiring, but look at the work Hein is doing here as well. Hein is staying focused and he's staying aggressive. He gets in, get, takes control of the body, takes control of the, of the limbs, and then attacks with the head. They're attacking with the head again behind the ear. This was, and there, you're in a lot of danger. You're hoping that that separation might buy you space, but not in the art form of Le Wei. It does not. It puts you in danger. But he did well. Lin should be very proud of that fight for the rest of his life. But it's got to be Heinz's fight. Yeah, Heng Tenong exhibiting beautifully, just why he was the winner of two last man standing tournaments. Well, he certainly was the last man standing here. That was epic, man. Everything I, I, I thought it would be when, when we were coming here. Just something very special. That would be high on my list of fight of the night thus far. Yeah. Although, yeah, they've all been of a very high standard. Really? You know, you start looking for round of the night so far, really. It's, it's been amazing. There is, you know, if, if action becomes part of the game here for, for how many times you're going to say it, I'm going to say it now. I mean, this the nature of what's available to you here and the, the type of art form that has grown over 2,000 years, it creates action. Actually, it's impossible to stifle it. Ladies and gentlemen, in Mandalay, we have a decision. After five three-minute rounds of action, we now have a unanimous decision from our judges' scorecards. To present the prize to the winner, we have Wu Ang Gaoden and director of Asia Golden Miles and Canal Plus Ambassador RT. Your winner, via unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Hein Ton Again, thank you to all of our sponsors, and especially Wu Ang. God damn. Director of Asia Golden Miles and Kennel Plus Ambassador RT. who he is. This is where he shows the skills that he's dedicated his young lifetime to, and this is where he shows the heart and courage that